Hi, Hi, I have I got your profile. Uh, it's look good. Uh, could you please tell about yourself? Yeah, yes, ma'am. So my name is Hari. So I'm working as a, a senior cloud engineer. Okay. Also, I'm taking care of this DevOps activities and things and stuff. Uh, mostly, right in our platform, we are more into uh, Terraform oriented. Uh, mostly, our resources, right in our platform, we used to, to create uh, through Terraform and cloud formations only. Uh, maximum, we don't use any manual effort to create any sort of resources in our environment. Uh, so this is, you know, apart from uh, Terraform and uh, Cloud Formation, we do use uh, AWS Lambda functions and uh, code commit, code deploy, you know, code build uh, kind of uh, uh, inbuilt uh, CI CD tools uh, from AWS. Uh, also, we use, you know, uh, uh, Kubernetes EK service. Uh, in addition to that, we have, uh, we are having ECR as an uh, image repository. So more maximum all the infrastructure and any automation stuff, right? Uh, we used to write a Terraform code. Uh, so through that we'll manage our environment. Uh, this is what all about. Okay, Hiran. So let's move on the questions. Uh, my first question is: What do you understand by Terraform in AWS? Mm, yeah, understanding and Terraform, right? Uh, not only for AWS, Terraform is a multi-cloud uh, tool, basically, uh, which means uh, we can uh, develop a, a Terraform template for AWS Azure GCP. And totally uh, depends. Okay, so uh, since you are asking question, you know, understanding Terraform on AWS, uh, already we have inbuilt tool, uh, cloud formation, uh, but uh, Terraform is open source one. Also, it's uh, much easier uh, comparing our uh, uh, cloud formation. Uh, it Terraform right, it uses uh, its own language. Okay. Uh, so in that right, we would able to create all the resources. It maintains a state file. Also, it gives you uh, more uh, easy to get the source code from the internet. Even if we end up with any error, also there are lots of solutions be there available in uh, internet. Okay, likewise, uh, we have a lot many um, advantages are uh, with uh, uh, Terraform. This is what you know my understanding when come to AWS. Terraform. Okay. What are the key features of Terraform? Uh, features uh, features in the sense, uh, first of all, Terraform is open source tool. Uh, another one we can say, this is basically, you know, supports multi-cloud. Okay, not only multi-cloud, it support on-premises, VMware, Kubernetes, Azure, GCP, across uh, many uh, tools, right, which have been supported by uh, Terraform. And uh, writing a source code is very easy and user-friendly. Even beginner can easily understand and adopt with the Terraform. Uh, if somebody else in our project uh, who developed the Terraform code, means it will be very much easy for us to understand. Even we are newly onboarding into that project, and uh, yeah, of course we all know it uh, maintains the state file, right? Uh, it won't allow us to duplicate any resources. Uh, state file help us uh, in terms of. Uh, uh, avoiding the duplications in our source code. Uh, so in addition to that, um, uh, we have a, a module concept, variableization concept, which helps us to avoid the hard coding part in our uh, source code. Uh, modelization concept, when you are deal with a huge number of you know, infrastructure resources, a huge number of source code, it helps us to you know, split up our code, uh, the different, different um, modules, right? So by the way, it will be really uh, uh, easy to you know, uh, implement it in every environment. Uh, this is what I strongly believe uh, that are the features of uh, Terraform. Okay. Uh, define IAC. Sorry? Define IAC. 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 Uh, you mean infrastructure as a code? Yes. Okay, so yeah, basically, right, uh, when you come to DevOps, there are multiple tools are available, uh, Jenkins, you know, uh, we have, you know, Bitbucket, we have uh, Ansible, we have a Kubernetes, there are lots many tools are available. Uh, specific to infrastructure so code, I mean uh, Terraform, yeah, Terraform is the uh, infrastructure so code, uh, you're asking me to define, right? So basically, uh, when you come to any cloud environment, Right. Uh, when you come to any cloud environment, usually we build the resources uh, manually. Right. Uh, so, but uh, when you have a uh, um, infrastructure as a code kind of tool, Terraform kind of tool, right? We don't want to manually build uh, any of our infrastructures. Uh, basically, it will help us to uh, uh, manage it uh, through code actually. 
okay we will write a code we'll keep that as a template so whenever i wanted to manage this uh, i mean wanted to create a resource whenever i wanted to uh, um, modify anything in the resources whenever i wanted to um, uh, destroy any resources everything right i will be able to done it through code itself the entire infrastructure right which will be managed uh, by the code uh, okay uh, the, this is what uh, my understanding when come to iac infrastructure as a code okay. what are the most useful terraform commands uh terraform commands yes so in terraform we frequently use terraform init for initializing our uh, modules uh, the whatever the source code we kept it in our terraform directory right which gets initialized uh, my main.tf file also if i have any sub files you know now uh, module files everything get initialized so uh, and apart from that we have a terraform plan command before we go for executing any so terraform code we use uh, terraform uh, plan command uh, that uh, will show me the sample output and what are the resources it's going to create so followed by um, we have a, a terraform apply command which execute the code uh, which uh, back in no uh, it will start uh, creating the resources we have a terraform destroy command whatever the resources i wanted to delete so it will help me to you know, destroy all the resources uh, we have a terraform show command uh, if i have a terraform state file already in place when i give terraform show command that will help me to uh, uh, list down the source code and list of resources uh, from my store state uh, file uh, that is something called uh, called as a terraform uh, show command and we have a terraform uh, so this one i mean a graph command is available okay that will visualize the resources So what are the things it's gonna happen in dot manner? So likewise, these are the major uh, Terraform uh, files which is there in our uh, uh, repeatedly we use. Uh, these are the Terraform commands. Okay, what does mean by Terraform D? Uh, Terraform D in the sense it's uh, one of the plugin I used to say. Okay, using the Terraform uh, plugin, uh, it's inbuilt plugin. We would say when I go for any text editor or uh, uh, any any external source code editor, uh, I can add this uh, plugin to the source code editor uh, where uh, my Terraform modules are being added. Uh, so by the way, I can directly execute my Terraform codes in initialization, uh, even apply everything. Right, I can done it in the uh, code editor itself. Uh, I, I would say Terraform D is for uh, for a plugin. Uh, nothing more than that okay reeran uh, how does uh, terraform work could you please explain about uh, sure <clears throat> uh, since uh, when you take terraform working principle uh, it it uses a you know a provider okay uh, we need to define uh, what provider it is i mean the the code where i'm going to execute right that is something called as a provider it could be aws it could be azure it could be gcp uh, any 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 platform where exactly i'm going to work with uh, terraform so wherever i have a provider information uh, that location right it considered as a uh, what you can say that location it will be considered as a main.tf file uh, in that uh, either you can go with multiple module concepts uh but may, may i'll tell you on high level okay i will not go deep dive so when i have a uh, main.tf i have a variable that tf means uh, what will happen uh, i uh, the main.tf will have all the resources what need to be created uh, followed by the variable that tf i this file contains it will not um, what you can say it will not allow us to hard code anything whatever the value user wanted to pass during the execution i can update it in the variable that tf file okay so for uh, after that uh, the respective main.tf file right uh, will fetch the value from variable.tf file uh, that way uh, those files are getting uh, you know worked uh, if in case you are using multiple modules uh, uh, in the main.tf file right you will define all the module module this module for the purpose, second module third module like all the module we need to specify it so the respective module will contain the source source in the sense uh, where we have our uh, kept our source code and things are we kept our source code and things so this is how uh, we used to you know uh, uh, this is how the terraform works uh, we it maintain state file we can initialize it we can you know manage the resources we can create the resources all those things right uh, which we can do it through terraform okay why is terraform used for devops um, sorry why is terraform mm-hmm. used for devops 
yeah so it's pretty you know straight forward like uh, when you come to devops of course we don't you know wish to go with any sort of manual way uh, totally no it uh, development plus operations right but all the tool, tools uh, belongs to devops uh, environment uh, in that same way right we can even use terraform uh, because uh, any infrastructure we don't want to go for any manual way of provisioning it uh even terraform you know even supports version control i mean uh, you can update the code uh, developers will develop it and they will maintain the version control either in github or somewhere after that right um, uh, basically you know uh, uh, we can integrate with jenkins and uh, we can easily you know integrate with other uh, uh, things uh, terraform also can be integrated in gitlab terraform also can be integrated in any one of the pipelines okay likewise we have huge uh, you know uh, advantages with uh, uh, terraform so that is where right exactly uh, we are using terraform in devops and moments okay what do you understand by terraform backend so terraform backend <laughs> of course uh, when come to terraform we have a cli uh, terraform cli where we used to execute the terraform init command and the terraform apply and things and stuff Uh, so what happens uh, by uh, the understanding of backend right uh, we have a state file uh, that state file which contains a specific uh, you know uh, resources whatever it's created okay uh, so future uh, when i go for you know updating my source code or i rerun the code it will refer my state file uh, whatever the resource available in the state file right based on that it will show us some data okay so by this way uh, what we can do um, it will be easy for us to avoid duplication and terraform uh, resource uh, creation and um, uh, backend right uh, we can uh, uh, get the resource information and the metadata from the state file uh, so this is how you know backend be monitored also we can have output um, when we execute any terraform code right we can specify the output module that output module will help me to get the you know uh, that output module will help me to get the any resource whatever created the respective id and those data right will be able to uh, uh, get it uh, i i believe this is what you know my understanding about uh, backend okay what are the modules available in terraform okay uh, modules uh, in terraform we are asking about the uh, model initialization concepts right okay so when uh, uh, you work with the bigger uh, you know uh, uh, infrastructures say for example you want to create a multiple resources right so in that case uh, we won't go for uh, using uh, uh, individual you know single file and all the source code will be there part of the single file uh, in that case right we'll go for modularization concept each module now will be developed by the dedicated the devops uh, you know developer uh, the devops guy will be developing working on each module so finally right we'll put together and accumulate all those things we'll build our uh, own um, uh, terraform uh, uh, pipeline and things okay so coming to modules uh, as i said when we are working with the bigger environments uh, basically we used to uh, work on uh, uh, multiple portions i mean first uh, for example first module we are working on vpc second module we are working on auto scaling third module we are working on you know load balancers like we'll have a, a dedicated uh, portion of scriptively executing on that that particular module uh, main advantage of splitting up the module when future any error comes right we can easily point to that respective uh, module we can go there and we can troubleshoot it okay otherwise uh, we would you know uh, check the uh, uh, we can comment any particular module we can run you know uh, required module alone since we don't want to execute all the modules all together okay so in that way um, uh modules are very much uh, you know helpful uh, so it also allow multiple developer to work in the same uh, platform finally we can bring all the data so it's helping us to pass the output value from one uh, uh, specific uh, module to other specific uh, module okay we can easily exchange the data uh, uh, however even though you have a multiple module in the single script uh, what it does uh, you will be um, having this uh, specific uh, uh, module uh, you know uh, initialization in main that tf file along with the provider that will be there okay so this is what uh, you know concepts of module which comes in terraform Okay, explain the recent project you have worked in the Terraform. 
my in my current project yes so uh, recently uh, we have uh, performed uh, you know automation for you know resource creation uh, on uh, my location uh, i would say you know uh, um uh, we had a requirement from our customer uh, they wanted to go with the terraform template which contain you know four major modules okay first module is for account security okay that account security involves uh, you know um, uh, enabling guard duty enabling security hub you know and uh, enabling the network acl and enabling the security group all those uh, um, and the permission boundaries and uh, okay those kind of things uh, which part of uh, the respective uh, security module okay in addition to that uh, we have a second uh, one uh, what what i can say the second one is all about um, account standardization uh, when the account comes to our environment this standardized script uh, standardized things will get uh, executed okay uh, example I, i could tell you even mm, the specific mm, resources example uh, a password policy okay uh, if you come to my environment this should be the password policy and uh, we have uh, some other account standardization also uh, something like uh, uh, uh um, uh, all the volume should be encrypted we'll have a, a kms encryption key will be part of it okay we'll enable that all those things which comes under account uh, standardization and third or third uh, module right in the same project itself we have a uh, billing alert okay billing alert mean we'll set up a budget alert when it crosses the more than the uh, limited uh, period so we will be using the uh the budget will be triggered okay when it reaches that threshold and we had a last module which is for log management uh, that log management module will enable the bucket level logging and uh, cloud trail level logging everything right which has been uh, enabled by the um, uh, the perspective uh, module portion uh, will get to work okay so this is the uh, process right which we did it and also we integrated this with our uh, Cl- jenkins uh, pipeline so when our client wanted to you know uh, they go with the new account they will trigger the pipeline the pipeline will ask for the account id uh, in the account id right i'll provide the aws account the newly created aws account number so it has a sts assume role uh, using that role right uh, it will get it uh, done actually okay so this is the recent project map which i have uh, worked in my uh, environment okay Arun. so <clears throat> that's all from my end uh, i will hand over the data to hr team uh, they will get back to you thank you yeah thank you